trees have been in existence since creation and have been useful to humanity and other species of life. Trees serve as wind breaks, prevents erosion and helps in formation of climatic conditions. Trees also provide food, protection and homes for birds and mammals. Professor Daniel Kwesi Abiu is a retired taxonomist and ethnobotanist formerly with the University of Ghana. He has been dealing with plants since 1960 and has vast knowledge of plant species. GBC News paid him a visit at his home to interact with him to obtain his views on traditional medicine, current trends and how changes have affected the practice in the country amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. He took us round his residence, which plays host to a plethora of plants and trees of different species. We inquired about the plants and trees and whether they serve any purposes to him and his family. Professor Abiu, who has authored some publications on plants and trees for domestic and foreign curricula, indicated that every plant or tree species has medicinal value, which many do not know about. Yes, you know the old age is that when the last tree dies, the last man to die. So trees benefit us in a lot of ways. The simplest being that the carbon dioxide that we give out, they take it and we benefit from the oxygen that they produce. On why he is conversant for the Iroko tree, also known as a doom to be given national recognition, Professor Biu said it has numerous beneficial qualities. Odum is a first class timber, very durable. virtually fireproof and it has contributed more to building in Ghana than any other species. There's hardly any building that did not use Odum as the lumber. The species was so much in demand that its export in log form was banned. So going back, if this tree has contributed so much building and construction in Ghana, why not make it the national tree? That will also go to protect it because Odum has been virtually wiped out due to over-exploitation. The most talked about issue for some time now is COVID-19 and its attendant difficulties on economics and human lives. Countries have sunk huge amounts of money to produce vaccines against the pandemic. According to Professor Bill, all these interventions are good, but herbal medicine has a huge role to play in terms of boosting human immune systems. Professor Bill was delighted that herbal medicine is now gaining the recognition it deserved. He said some health institutions are now recommending herbal treatment alongside orthodox medicines, which is a good step. Traditional medicine practitioners, he noted, must work hard to prove themselves, adding that the practice has bright prospects both home and abroad.